Hello, my Form 2s. How are you guys doing? Welcome back to our weekly class. This time is for May week 3. Okay, so apparently we are still going to have this online class until the beginning of June. At least. Okay, still going to be extended. I seriously have no idea. Alright, so this week we are entering a new chapter. Okay, just because we are... Uh, doing online classes doesn't mean we have to slow down. Okay, we are going full force forward So I hope that you are absorbing what you are doing at home Okay, so uh, if you do so then it will be a very simple Process for you next time because when you go back to the school the teachers are rushing here and there You'll be sitting there chilling because you're, you have already learned everything. Okay, I hope that's the case All right, so uh, this week is gonna be a new chapter and I will slow it down this week because uh, we are a bit ahead of schedule. So it will be a very slow class today. Okay, so this chapter is called electricity. Okay, electricity. We are going to learn about electric. Okay, but uh, I will say this is a very confusing chapter. Okay, a lot of calculations to do. But fret not, this week is not the week. We are going to learn only the basics. Okay, it's not even related to electricity at all. Okay, this week we are going to learn about energy. Okay, energy. So energy is what makes us alive, what enables us to do work. Okay, that is energy. Okay, so here's the thing. So what is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. If there's no energy, there's no work done. Okay, I hope you remember that. And then it is measured in Joule. Okay, Joule we use it, that's the SI unit, that's the standard unit. But for food, okay, food contains energy because food is chemical energy. Food we use calories. Ah, this is a girl's most uh, sensitive food. Oh, this contains a lot of calories. You cannot eat this. It's going to make you fat. Okay, so calories. Okay, you can use both. Okay, but normally we use Joe. Okay, and then next, energy cannot be created or destroyed. Okay, this part is very important. You can even add another point here. Energy can only be converted from one form to another okay what does it mean i cannot just poop i want energy i can create energy out of thin air it, it's not possible okay i can only convert energy from one form to another okay just like light here i'm converting from electrical energy to light and heat energy so where's the electrical energy from it's from other energy from the generator okay you cannot create or destroy energy energy is always there you are only converting from another form okay like i'm talking now sound energy is being converted from chemical energy coming from my food okay where is the chemical energy from the chemical energy is from the sun okay which is uh, heat and light energy so you can you see energy is being converted from one form to another to another you cannot create energy okay so okay let's look at forms of energy how many energy we have okay so uh stored energy and work energy do you want to separate them okay i wouldn't i would just 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 you know learn all the forms okay so first you have gpe we call it gravitational potential energy okay so we have two forms of potential energy here okay you know it's potential energy potential means store i'm charging i'm storing energy i have the ability to do something okay this is why we say, wow, this kid is very smart. He has a lot of potential because he has potential to do great things in life later on. Okay, that's what we mean. Okay, so gravitational potential energy is caused by increase in height. Okay, energy stored in an object due to position or condition. Okay, let's say now, I have this mouse. Okay, if I leave it higher, it's going to have higher gravitational potential energy. When I release my hand, this mouse will gain kinetic energy. Okay, what is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy, I'll talk about that later. Kinetic energy basically is speed. The faster you move, the more kinetic energy you have. Okay, so it's storing energy here. Can you see? When I release, okay, it's going to change the energy into speed. Okay, so I hope you understand. It's charging energy. So gravitational potential energy. So can you see I'm converting energy? I'm using my energy. Uh, which is chemical energy. I'm eating food just now. So I change it to gravitational potential energy. I'm using energy to lift this thing up. 
and then when I release this, this will fall to the ground, converting to kinetic energy. You cannot create or destroy energy, you can only convert them. Okay, so that is gravitational potential energy. Okay, and then another form of energy is elastic potential energy. Let's say now I have a rubber band, I pull it, I stretch it. Can you see I'm giving it energy and then the rubber band is storing my energy. So elastic potential energy. So both are in potential energy. Both are storing energy to do work later. But one is due to height, due to gravity. One is due to the elasticity of the rubber band. Okay, that's why if I use rubber band, I shoot you, it feels painful because I store energy and then I release it in a short time and then hits into your hand. Wow, it feels painful because I'm releasing it energy to you. Okay, so you have two forms of potential energy. So at all elastic substance when stretch or compress possess elastic potential energy because of their stretch or compress condition. Okay, you can either stretch them or compress them like spring. Okay, so both is uh, both we call them potential energy. Okay, so please don't just say potential energy at exam. You need to specific is it gravitational or is it elastic? Okay, very important. Next. Uh, let's look at chemical energy. Okay, chemical energy is from your food. Okay, from your food or from your fuel. Okay, so for us, we use food. Food is our fuel. Uh, for cars, we use fossil fuel. Okay, so different types of energy. So can you get energy from fossil fuel? Uh, probably not. You can't drink petrol. You will die. Okay, so chemical energy is energy stored in chemical substance. Okay, it is released when this chemical substance undergo chemical reaction. So how do we do this? We get chemical energy from food and then we do something called respiration. Okay, cellular respiration. Convert glucose and oxygen into carbon dioxide, water and energy. I hope you still remember this is what we learned in form one. Okay, so we release energy from glucose. We release the chemical energy inside, we convert it to whatever energy we are using now. Okay, I'm moving, okay, kinetic energy, I'm talking, okay, sound energy, okay, so all the energy, okay, we get it from chemical energy. Okay, so next, nuclear energy, okay, this is uh, one of the newest form of energy, okay, it's also the most controversial. Some people say this is the best energy, some people say no, this is bad. Okay, so it's energy stored in the nucleus of an atom. Okay, we do something called nuclear reaction. Okay, some people hate it because why? Nuclear reaction creates a lot of waste. Okay, the nuclear waste, not to say a lot, the nuclear waste is very hard to handle. Okay, we don't know where to throw it. What is good about this? It releases a lot of energy, almost few hundreds times compared to your petrol. Imagine if your car runs on nuclear, you don't need to pump petrol for 10, 20 years. Wow, am I right? But if you happen to get into a car crash, this thing leaks out to the environment. Everybody or everyone would die. Okay, we are driving atom bombs around the city. Okay, so very controversial stuff. Some say it's the cleanest energy, some say it's not. Okay, next we have electrical energy. This is what we are going to learn this chapter. So electrical energy comes from electrical charges. Lah. Okay, so electrical energy. Okay, and then next, what else do we have? We have heat energy. Okay. Uh, this is the most common form of energy. Everything gives out heat energy. Okay, you have heat energy. Lights have heat energy. Sun have heat energy. Everything has heat energy. Okay, and then kinetic energy is what I talked about just now. Okay, it's due to speed, due to movement. Okay, the faster I run, the more kinetic energy I have. Okay, so if I release this, okay, I, I put this up, it has gravitational potential energy. When I release it, okay, whoo, it drops down. It has, it converts the gravitational potential energy into kinetic energy. Ah, okay, I hope you understand. So it's converting energy. Okay, and then of course you have light energy. Okay, I have my light here. Okay, light energy. Okay, okay I have four light energy here. And then I have sound energy, what I'm talking about now. Okay, sound energy is due to vibration. <laughs> okay, so uh, can only travel through solid, liquid and gas, cannot through vacuum, okay. You cannot hear explosion in space because it's a vacuum. Next time you watch Star Wars or whatever, boom, it's a lie. Okay, so you won't hear sound. Sun gives out explosion few hundred of times per day. You don't hear it because it's a vacuum. You don't, you can't scream in vacuum. Okay, anyway, so source of energy. This is what we care about now. Okay, how do we how do we get energy? Okay, so we have renewable and non-renewable. Okay, basically it's how we generate energy. Okay, so what is renewable? Sources that we can renew. We can keep getting them. 
okay so they cannot be depleted okay we cannot use them they will always be there like what wind okay so it is a form of kinetic energy when you have wind you can put windmill you can use the windmill to generate energy okay so sun okay is we call solar energy okay we get energy from the sun water we use something called hydroelectric you have learned this in your geography okay you have your empangan and then you use that to manjana kan kuasa electric okay so and then you have wave okay uh you also use this to generate uh electricity okay so you might say okay let's look at non-renewable first okay of course we have fossil fuel this is the most common kind of energy we are using today okay we use this to generate electricity for vehicles for machine and then you have radioactive which is a nuclear energy okay oh yeah just now uh non-renewable renewable i haven't finished okay it's here okay you have geothermal geothermal is only for uh countries with hot spring okay countries with hot spring normally means they have volcanoes that's that means malaysia don't have we don't have volcanoes luckily and then we also don't have geothermal okay this is only in iceland okay mostly okay and then you have biomass what is bio bio means living things ah. mass means uh they are thing, com things coming from living things like uh your shit your pee your uh whatever waste product you produce is biomass okay okay here's the thing how much are we relying on fossil fuel nowadays 80 percent okay so a lot of people say oh sir we should not use petrol we should not use natural gas we should not use coal we should not use this and that this and that petrol is very bad for country uh, very bad for pollution yada, yada 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 okay now we take fossil fuel off how are we going to fill the 80 percent that's a very good question isn't it okay so you may say sir why don't we use windmill malaysia doesn't have a lot of wind okay can you imagine you use six million to build windmill Okay, per year you get 10,000 ringgit worth of electricity. That is a very stupid form of investment. Okay, that's why we use water, we use hydroelectric because we rain here all the time. You can't build hydroelectric in places like uh, Iceland. Why? Because number one, they have not very big countries. They do not have a lot of rivers. Number two, it's very cold there. In the winter, water will be frozen. Okay, if you build water dam there, that is a very stupid thing to do. Okay, that's why even sun, a lot of people say, Sir, why are we not using solar to power our cars? Number one, solar panels are very expensive. Number two, solar energy is not very efficient. Okay, you need to imagine you need to put your sun, your, your car in the sun for eight hours only for you to be able to drive for half an hour. That is so stupid. Okay, means you charge your phone for eight hours, you can only use it for half an hour. Okay, this is why renewable energy, yeah, it's renewable. It's also not very efficient. Okay, it's very slow, super slow. Okay, that's why we are still using fossil fuel. Okay, I hate to say it. That's why our country is in such a bad shape. How do we know? Now we have COVID-19. Can you see people not going out? How greatly have our environment recovered? Okay, you can even see dolphins in Port Dixon right now. Okay, so uh, I think CO2 has, has dropped, like, I don't know how many percent over the past few months. Okay, so bad news for us, but good news for Mother Earth. Okay, so anyway, we have done this. Okay, that's it. I'm going to talk about this week. Okay, so like I said, short chapter. Okay, let's go into exercise. Okay, so take for the correct statement. Energy can, can be created. No, cannot be created, cannot be destroyed. Okay, number two, energy can be changed from one form to another. Yes, this is what I mentioned just now. Energy cannot be destroyed. Yes. A lighter bulb release. Only heat energy? No. It's heat and light. Okay. Does it have sound? If a light bulb gives up sound, la, that would be very weird. La, but I would suggest you to change it. Okay. A swinging pendulum. Okay. Pendulum. And a bouncing ball has the same form of energy. Yes. Okay. It has. Okay. What does a bouncing ball and a pendulum have? It has kinetic. Okay. And gravitational potential energy. Okay. When it's down here, it has kinetic energy because it's swinging. When it's up here, whoop, it has gravitational potential energy. Okay, convert to kinetic again. GPE, kinetic. GPE, kinetic. Okay, same goes to bouncing ball. Okay, so kinetic, boom. 
GPE, kinetic, GPE, kinetic, GPE. So it's the same motion. Okay. So a thermometer is used to show heat energy that raises the temperature of water. Okay. It doesn't show you the heat energy, it shows you the temperature. Okay, so I would I'll say this is wrong. Okay, so there is a shadow under the tree. Chemical energy made this happen. No, this is light energy. Okay, chemical energy is stored in food and fuel. Good. Okay, this is correct. Okay, state the form of energy and the following condition. A telescope and camera need this form of energy to work. Okay, camera and telescope, you need light energy. Okay, if there's no light, there will be no photos. Okay, so this energy is used in Morse code. Okay, you know this Morse code? Morse code is what we used to communicate with last time, okay? When we could, we, when we didn't have phones, we used Morse code, okay? We used something called telegram, okay? Basically, it's a series of dots and lines, okay? Da -da 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 this is how it sounds like. So, this is how it sounds like. So, this is a sound energy, okay? So, number three, windmills trap this energy, okay? Windmills, of course, it traps. Uh, you don't say wind energy here. There's no wind energy. Wind is the source, okay? What energy is this? This is kinetic energy. Okay, if you say wind is wrong, ah, come on. Okay, wind energy is kinetic energy. Okay, it's a source. I don't want a source, I want the form. Okay, so this energy is stored within an object. Okay, storing energy is called potential. Okay, so should you write gravity or elastic here? None, because it's just it just says store. Okay, it's not related to height or uh, stretching, so we just say potential. Okay, number five. Microwave oven and air conditioner use this energy to function. Okay, it needs electrical. Okay, no electric, no aircon. Okay, number six. This energy is used to kill germs. Of course, this is heat energy. Okay, you heat energy, you heat food to kill bacteria. Okay, so name uh, now is the source. Okay, just now is the form. Okay, so this, oh, what is this? This is an oil rig. This is to dig fossil fuel, dig petrol up from the ground. So this is fossil fuel. Okay, so this is wave. Okay, if you can see. Okay, solar panel, this is sun. Okay, this is a uh, wind. Okay, what is this? This is biomass. Okay, uh, India uses a lot of this. Okay, biomass you can basically use like what? Uh, let's say now I eat durian. Okay, the shell you cannot use, you take it to burn and then to release energy that's what i meant by biomass okay or cows are uh, shade or whatever you process it and then you burn it you get biomass okay so what's the f oh this is nuclear okay nuclear has all these things what is this? this is actually a water cooling tower because nuclear power plant is very hot they use this to cool the plant down okay so g uh oh sorry they want from up there so this is radioactive Okay, so what is this? This is water. Okay, this is a dam. Okay, uh, electrical dam. Okay, so number two. Oh, this is electric really. Okay, I'm not going to talk about this this week. Okay, so I will say that's all for this week. Okay, short video. Very simple. Okay, so I'll see you again next week. Okay, I hope you stay up to date with this. Okay, I'll post the notes and the exercise. You can... I don't think you need to print it out, okay? We are sending out notes, okay? I hope, hopefully you get yours, okay? Hopefully you get yours in the correct language, of course, okay? So I hope you are learning something today. Uh, don't waste your time, okay, this holiday, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm fully utilizing my time during, although it's a holiday, okay? I'm getting everything done, okay? So stay safe and use time wisely, and I'll see you again next week. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.